Yeah, Jeff. Firstly, Steve McBurney's effort to umpire 400 games. How do you rate that? Oh, it's just a wonderful achievement, Adam. Um, he joins Hayden Kennedy and Rowan Soares as the only umpires ever to have done 400 games. But in Steve's case, like he started way back in 1995, so that's a lot of seasons. Um, probably the key to Steve's performance has been his um, his great work ethic, his great integrity, um, he's a bringer communicator and in, in fact I think he's probably one of the best officials in Australia in any sport. He is very, very capable, very confident and uh, does a fantastic job for us. So two inside 50s for two goals, what a start this would be. Wellingham off three steps, comes in and bends it back. Just across the face, Cox up high, still in play, chance, goal! Excuse me. It hit the post, the ball hit the post. I it can't go to the, the replay for that. They have to go to the replay for that. The ball came around. It hit me. It's gone into play. It's oh, a goal. I hit him. I just want to check if yes. it hit the I thought it hit the post. I just want to say... Yeah, the incident in the West Coast uh, Essendon game was one where our goal umpire got hit by the football and unfortunately he was in the wrong position in that situation. Our umpires, goal umpires, are instructed to just be back off the line a little bit, not to get too close to the field of play. Unfortunately he was in the wrong position, got hit with the football, the football stayed in play, which means the ball's alive, West Coast picked the ball up and kicked a goal. So in a perfect world he would have been back behind the line a little bit, which meant that if the ball hit him, it's crossed the line and it's behind, or if it hits a post, it's hit the post and it's a behind. So unfortunately Unfortunately, a positional error caused the ball to stay in place and West Coast were able to kick a goal. And probably for clarification, you know, people need to understand if it does hit an umpire, any umpire in the field, and stays in play, the ball is still alive. So in this case, the ball was alive after it hit the goal umpire. Hale forced to go low down, did OK, back to Savage. Savage a penetrating kick, rough head. How will the umpire call that OK? No. Uh, yeah, we had a marking situation in Friday night's game, uh, Hawthorne versus St Kilda, where Jared Roughhead went for a marking contest against his opponent, Jason Blake. Um, in this situation, we probably all saw it. Didn't look a lot in it, but what we do see is Jared Roughhead go at his opponent, elect to bump him, move him off the ball, and then go back for the football. So what we'd like Roughhead to do in that situation is to hold his ground, stand his ground. But I think if you look at the vision, you can see the bump. It's not the biggest bump in the world, but he did bump Blake, put him out of business, then went back for the ball. Have a look at Gary Ablett here, boys. I, I think he needs protection. That's a hold in the man there. Yeah, Guy McKenna has made some comments about the treatment of Gary Ablett in the game last uh, Saturday night against the Melbourne Football Club. Um, look, Gary Ablett is no different to any other uh, on-ball player whose objective is to play the ball. As umpires, the umpires are instructed to protect the ball player at all times. On Saturday night, there was a couple of occasions when quite clearly we wished the umpires had have intervened and paid a couple of free kicks to Ablett. Um, but look, Gary is no different to any other player. And I think we probably all have watched the year. Gary has had a fantastic year. He's had a brilliant season. I think he's been, you know, tagged on, on a lot of occasions. I think the umpires have done a really good job in protecting him and other pure ball players on most occasions. So we had a couple on the weekend that we wished the umpire had intervened and paid free kicks. But by and large, you know, over the course of the year, I think our umpires have done a good job in protecting the ball players from players who are playing the man.